My favorite time of the year, my favorite thing to get in the mailbox. This is the horror pack for the month of September 2018. Not just in October, but all year round, you can get a selection of horror titles delivered right to your door from the folks over at Horror Pack. That's exactly what this is for horror titles of a random selection, either in DVD or Blu-ray. I just so happen to use Blu-ray as my format, but you can get this ordered in as DVD. But inside are four horror titles. Some classics, some new releases, some exclusives to Horror Pack. I'll put the link down below so if you guys are interested in subscribing and getting Horror Pack delivered to your house, don't even just be thinking the month of October, which is the best time in my own humbled opinion to be watching horror films, but you can really watch horror films all year round, and I do. Let's get this opened up. I noticed that the Horror Pack was a little later coming this, uh, this time around, but uh, still... Every day, I kind of just peer out to my mailbox. Is that the is that the horror pack being delivered for this month? No, it's bills. What about this? No, it's clothing, and not even clothing for me either. Let's see what we got inside the horror pack for month of September, nonetheless. Now I'm going to reach in. If you've seen other people's videos, and you can certainly do that if you want, but I would hope that you'd be checking out this channel. Uh, all the stuff that I am opening up is the same thing as everybody else who has subscribed to the Horror Pack and have done videos as well uh, have gotten. So it's not randomly for each person. It's the exact same titles for every single person for that month. Yes? Makes sense? Somewhat? Yes? Okay. okay good. So we're going to pull in, go in, and we're going to pull out the first title. And then we're going to talk a little bit about it. Digest it. Nom, 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 nom. And then we're going to go to the next title. Yeah? Good? Okay. First title is A Dark Song. Now, I heard about this one. This is Raven Banner Releasing Presents, uh, The Dark Song, A Dark Song. Not everything can be forgiven. On the back of the package, or the back of the case here, Two Broken Souls, An Unholy Alliance. Grieving Sophia, played by Catherine Walker, despairs over the tragic loss of her murdered son. Desperate to somehow make contact with the boy she has lost, Sophia believes her prayers are answered when she cross paths with the reclusive Joseph, played by Steve Orm of Sightseers, an expert in the occult. Joseph reluctantly agrees to aid Sophia through the dark, a series of dark and forbidden rituals in order to bring her child back into the world of living. Pushed to her to their physical and psychological breaking points, Sophia and Joseph make a disturbing descent into the most depraved corners of black magic. The debut feature from Rising Horror uh, Art Artur is that how you spell that? Is that how you say it? Artur? I've never even used that word before. Liam Gavin. A dark song sustains an air of quiet, creeping dread, intensely building towards a confrontation with evils unknown to our earthly bounds. Uh, the release date on this is, where is the release date? 2017, so that was last year. And the runtime is 100 minutes, and it's rated 18A. It doesn't really seem to have doesn't seem to have anything in the way of bonus features. Oh, yes, it does. Interviews with director and the director of photography and actors. There you go. Wanted to give that one a, a check. So what else we have in here? We have Again, uh, Against the Night. This is the Horror Pack limited edition release starring Frank Whaley, uh, Luke Persiani, or is it Persiani? Josh Can and Leah Holoran. Uh, they read up for this one. Against the Night in an atmospheric horror tale that is set in emotion by Hank, played by Luke Persiani, a guerrilla filmmaker who is relentless in his drive to capture visceral footage. One late night, or late one night, he persuades a group to sneak, a group of friends to sneak into an abandoned prison to document any paranormal activities that their night vision cameras can detect. Once inside a series of inexplicable events begins and the friends find themselves locked in the prison separated from each other and pursued by someone who knows the layout far better than they do uh, is one of their own is it one of their own who is hunting them down one by one or have they inadvertently woken some ancient evil that has been confined within the prison's massive walls that sounds interesting really state on this is this year it's this year uh, runtime is 85 minutes and I don't see, I said that before and I was proven wrong. I don't see, however, any bonus features. 
85 minutes, and that's all you're going to get. Also reaching inside, we've got the Invisible Man. This is Claude Rains, the Invisible Man, with a limited dark glow in the uh, with a limited edition glow in the dark uh, dark glow in the dark art. I don't know why I had such a struggle saying that. There's the back of it right there. The signature adaptation of H.E. Wells' The Invisible Man stars Claude Rains as a mysterious scientist who discovers a serum that makes him invisible. Covered by bandages and dark glasses, the scientist arrives at a small English village and attempts to hide his amazing discovery. He soon realizes, however, that the same drug that renders him invisible is slowly driving him insane and capable of committing unspeakable acts of terror. Directed by James Whale, the horror classic features groundbreaking special effects by John uh, John P. Fulton that inspired many of the techniques that are still used today. There's some nice original artwork there, which I guess is on the inside. How does that work? I don't know where this art, where this, is it just this that glows? Oh yeah, I can feel it. It's got a little bit of a different texturing to it. This is probably the part that glows in the dark. And then there's the original sleeve. Uh, bonus features include, uh, now you can see him, the Invisible Man revealed, production photographs, feature commentary by film historian Rudy Belmer, 100 years of universal, unforgettable characters, and trailer gallery. This one you would have to travel considerably far back to watch if you wanted to watch this in its original state. This was released to theaters in 1933. Were you around for 1933? I can tell you I wasn't. And the last title inside the horror pack for the month of September is The Bye Bye Man. Isn't that interesting? I say that interesting because it doesn't mean anything, I'm sure, to anybody else. But I had seen The Bye Bye Man, questionable as to whether I actually fully liked it. But I did want to pick it eventually up on Blu-ray, and I just never did. I never, I never did. Um, I picked up The Midnight Man, which I think actually was inside one of the horror packs, but I never did get The Bye Bye Man. So it's funny then that I would get one, and it's autographed. This is The Bye Bye Man unrated. It, horror pack signed. I wonder where it's actually signed. I'm going to go ahead and open this one. I'm just curious whether they signed the outer sleeve, which I hope they didn't. I made that mistake once. I got, a, I got something autographed, but I got them to sign this, this surface as opposed to the surface inside. I'm just going to take the wrap off because I just need to, I need to prove it to myself. There we go. And let's have a look. We'll know right away when we start sliding this. Okay, good. It is autographed on the inside. Worst thing you definitely want is to get an autograph from somebody in the movie. And, uh, you know, it'd be autographed on the outside. The read-up for The Bye Bye Man is from the producer of the Oculus and The Strangers. I actually loved Oculus. Um, and The Strangers comes The Bye Bye Man. When three college students stumble upon the horrific origins of The Bye Bye Man, they discover that there's only one way to avoid the curse. Don't think it, don't say it. But once The Bye Bye Man gets inside your head, he takes control, making you see and do the most unspeakable acts committed by man. Is there a way to survive his possession? Starring Douglas Smith from Ouija and Carrie Ann Moss from The Matrix. I, I, I will say that's misleading because Carrie Ann Moss is like only in the end of the movie. And I believe she is like a paramedic. I think she's a cop actually. She's only in the end of the movie. Uh, see the chilling thriller that critics are calling a paranormal thrill ride that will echo in your nightmares. Uh, that is said by Elizabeth Rain, and that's from Den of Geek. Features on this, I don't see, and I see a, th a theatrical runtime of 1 hour 37 minutes and an unrated runtime of 1 hour 40 minutes. So you're really only getting 3 more extra minutes of footage. Uh, the released date on this, you would be looking at 2017. I felt like it was one year before that. Bye Bye Man, I've actually seen of the stack of films. I know I saw The Invisible Man like a long time ago. Uh, Bye Bye Man, it wasn't fantastic. I, um, I, it certainly falls within that category of new filmmakers are trying to come up with the next Freddy Krueger, like the, the next horror icon. I don't think Bye Bye Man... It's such a convoluted mess of a movie. It has good merits to it, but the idea of just 
thanking a character and then the character haunting you until like till the end of time. There's something so unestablished by that. There's no really no rules necessarily. Anything seems to go. I think the one thing that you need to do establish when it comes to making a new horror icon is you need to have ground rules right off the bat. You need to say this this is what happens when this happens. You simply just can't say, well, the moment you think about him, he stays with you and he haunts you. There's got to be a little bit more than just that. And then they incorporate coins. And I think he used to work for the railroad and he has a big dot giant dog. It just makes no no sense. But I do appreciate the fact it's got an autograph, which actually, I don't even know, the autograph is from, let's see who actually that is. That is from, checking the cast here. Uh, Carrie Ann Moss, Faye Dunaway. Casting by, I don't see who the signature is actually from. I see a signature, but I don't see what the signature, who signed that. Is it J E N N A? Jenna Kenneth? Kennel? Is there anyone on the back that's. Let's check the director. The director. No, no, it's not the director. I don't know who actually. Oh, Stacy. Stacy Title directed it. I don't know who actually this character is. Who at least has signed this. Oh, you know, no, it's not. <laughs> it's not Jennifer. It's not Jonathan Penner. Who has signed this? If anybody knows, let me know. Certainly down below. I am thrilled though to get a signed copy of the Bye Bye Man, which I will give it a valid second watch. But I I will tell you the initial watch of it. I feel like it needed to be a little bit more rooted in rules and a little bit more established than what it was. It sort of just felt like it floated without really coming with a concrete solid. Uh, backstory to the Bye Bye Man. But there you go. Nonetheless, those are the four titles that we got inside the September 2018 Horror Pack. Those titles included the Bye Bye Man autographed, which does have a signature. Just not really sure who signed it. Also got ourselves the classic, The Invisible Man, Against the Night, which is the Horror Pack Limited Edition. And a dark song, which I've seen trailers for and have never given it a watch. So we can watch that now. Or at the very least, I can watch that. If you've managed to pick up the horror pack for yourself as well, you would be also able to watch the four films disclosed over the course of this video. If you guys would like to get your hands on the horror pack, you will sadly not be able to get this month's titles, but you may still be able to get the October horror pack, which is good incentive because October is awesome. October is Halloween. October is just cool. And it's my favorite month of the entire year as you guys probably know by watching these videos. Make sure as well you hit that little subscribe button down below. Speaking of videos, because there's certainly going to be a lot more videos coming your way. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.